as the question says figure shows a rough track a portion of which is in the form of cylinder of radius r with what minimum linear speed should a sphere of radius r be set rolling on the horizontal part so that it completely goes round the circle on the cylindrical part so we need to throw this ball with a velocity v so that it covers whole of this circle now we all are knowing that if it is able to cross this topmost point then it will be able to complete the circle this we have done in the chapter the circular motion right so we need to frame the condition such that it is able to cross this topmost part now when this is at the topmost part then if we assume the radius of this small block to be small r then i can write down that the centripetal force mv square by r now what is the r from the center this is capital r minus small r because we will be taking the center of mass of the ball small r equals to mg which is the total vertical force that is mg we are taking the normal reaction to be zero because we need to find the minimum velocity so this is the case let us take it as equation number 1 now if this ball is being thrown with a velocity of v and it will be having a rotation motion over it like this so there will be no friction acting over the block that is the ball so we can also employ the conservation of energy over here between the initial and the topmost position for which we can write it out as the initial velocity being half m v dash square that is if we take this to be the v dash velocity right equals to plus there will be some rotational energy that is half i omega square equals to mg square into r minus r plus half mv square plus half i omega square now why we have taken this half i omega square into consideration while at the initial position there will be no omega is because when there will be no omega there will be some friction acting over it right so we are considering when this is v dash velocity and it is rotating with a angular velocity omega so that no friction acts over it that is why we have taken this rotational energy as well and now when it reaches the topmost point we need to find the v dash minimum so this is a general equation but for v dash minimum we can take the omega to be zero making this last term to be zero and why we could take omega equal to zero is that this is the limiting case when it stops rotating over here and it is just at and it will get down over here it will then therefore increasingly obtain some omega while completing the circular motion but we have taken the limiting case when omega is equals to 0 now putting the value that is i is 2 by 5 mr square because it is a solid sphere so we can get it as 7 by 10 mv dash square equals to g square into r minus r plus 7 by 10 v square now putting the value of v square from equation number 1 into this equation number 2 we can get the v dash square equals to 27 by 7 g capital r minus small r giving us the v dash minimum to be under root 27 by 7 g into r minus r